Endoscopic release of the carpal tunnel allows for minimally invasive surgery and avoids painful scars in the palm. Here a small incision is made at the level of the wrist and the retinaculum or flap of ligament is retracted to protect the palmar cutaneous branch. The synovial elevators reflect the synovium from the transverse carpal ligament and then carpal tunnel dilators prepare a path for the center line uh, Arthrex device. Here you can see the device inserted in the distal portion of the ligament identified. The device can be removed for defogging. It's important to release the ligament going from distal to proximal. Here you can see that the entire ligament has now been released going from the radial side and the median nerve identified all the way over to the ulnar side with the ligament completely divided. The proximal portion of the retinaculum is released in a direct vision with tsunami scissors and the wound is closed with a running subcuticular suture. A bulky dressing is applied and this can be removed and changed to a smaller dressing in two days.